you can do it. Okay. So, imagine the biggest show-off little girl you ever could. <laughs> One who dreamt of being a star. <laughs> now, imagine this little girl with her two older brothers, one eight years older than her, and the other ten years older than her. Well, I have my eight years older brother. He is Weston, and I thought that Weston was so cool. He was in a metal band. He was growing his hair out. He wore stuff that most guys in eighth grade did not. And I was, okay, if eighth grade is 13, then I would have been about like five. And anyway, it was typical of me to follow Weston around particularly when he had friends over. And of course, I wanted to be friends with Weston. Then I have to be friends with his friends. So you'd hear, Chris, leave us alone. Get out of my room. <laughs> and then you just see little me snake by. Hey. To her. Hey. <laughs> to his friends. And yes, I was apparently a flirt as soon as I could be one to <laughs> my brother's friends. I was four. <laughs> and they were twelve. <laughs> they didn't get it. They just thought, what's she doing? Aw, that's cute. And my brother's like, get out of here! Go! Anyway. So, once I got to be around the age of five, <laughs> Weston thought that it would be cool to find me at a point where I was dancing or singing in front of a mirror and focusing very intensely. And yeah! He jumped out in front of me and screamed mask and hide. And of course, that scared the crap out of me because I was a little girl with a little high pitched voice and I was focusing on being a star. And then, so you can see that our relationship. Horrible, but we really, really enjoyed annoying the crap out of each other. So there was a time where we had to move. We moved to Modesto. I was six, and he was a freshman in high school. And when we moved, things changed. I started. We both made new friends, and I kind of let up a little. And there was a time when I wanted to look at his movies, because he had the awesome biggest movie collection ever. <laughs> so I took my shoes off so I could be very quiet. And I tipped over, and I was sneaking, and sneaking. <laughs> oh my god! And then there's Weston. He had just came out of the bathroom and he was looking at me. And I looked at him. What is this doing on your floor? And I looked, and there had been pushpins scattered across the room <laughs> in his bedroom. And he goes, huh. I guess I did drop a bunch of pushpins. And I said, I will never go in your room again. And he was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it had gone from stop throwing Cheetos at me, Carissa, to Carissa, stop seeing Britney Spears. <laughs> and then there was a time when I was about 10, and I was very scared because we always thought that the house was haunted. 
it was creepy, weird stuff happened, but it was the final straw for me when my mom got locked in the shower. She was cleaning my brother's shower in a one-piece swimsuit, and she was trapped in there with a lot of very, very uh, toxic chemicals. And um, I heard this faint call of help. And so I came, and she said, Carissa, I've been calling you for like 10 minutes. I didn't hear. And so we tried to get her out, but we couldn't, so we had to call our friend over who's really good at like fixing home stuff and he was able to get her out but that was when it really hit me like what if the ghost did it and me and my brothers were <coughs> talking about this ghost and um and I went into my room my mom had to go somewhere she was taking night classes and I just started crying and I was sobbing, and um, my brother, Weston, came in, and I immediately went, <laughs> he just stopped and looked, because I could not let him see me cry. I wanted to impress him. I thought he was the coolest ever. And then, he said, is everything okay? And I said, yeah. Really? Because I thought I heard someone crying. He said, Oh, I just told me. I'm really scared because mom got locked in the shower and I'm thinking that, you know, who the house might be haunted? I'm thinking the ghost might have done it. Well, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't think that house was haunted, but I do think that if the ghost was going to hurt us, he would have done it by now. I slept like a baby after that, oh my god, that was like the best thing, like I never was scared of that ghost again. And then we talked a little while, and he said, I think he's okay, he probably just sits around, and I said, he? Yeah, yeah. He said, how do you know the guy? I don't know, but me and my friend's name is Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> now our relationship has gotten closer and closer and closer, and we're really good friends. And um, thank you, Stanley. <laughs>